So say to each, so there's more than one person involved. You could be lighting up or blowing up in front of these people. They could be lighting up or smoking drugs. Whatever drugs, it does not really matter. Um, they're a contradiction to themselves. Um, something isn't making sense with don't make. Spring is going to be made, something is going to be made clear that you're healthy. Are any of these people healthy? Uh, it doesn't seem like um, they're mentally healthy. So there could be some mental health issues going on between more than one person um, that is trying to do something to you. Uh, but there's a contradiction here because there is no who would be of being in doubt. So none of them are healthy, mentally, physically, emotionally. There's something that's unhealthy about each of these people um, who w wishes they were like you. Um, but th they're trying to cause doubts that you are who you say you are or you are that what you really are. Um, there's go not going to be one left in doubt after what's about to happen. Some chaos magic got sent back. So this, I'm just going to have to say group. And I, I'm, I'm feeling at least three, like a trio. There could be um, three or more people, a group, lighting up, doing drugs. They're mentally unstable, emotionally unstable. They have some sort of childhood wounds. They could have tried to make you look like you're unstable or unhealthy. Uh, but after something happens, there's not going to be one person left in doubt that you are the sanest one in the nut house. That much I can see. When you start telling your parents a story and then remember what happened was illegal, so there's some illegal shady shit that was going on with this group. When you rip the most profound fart in your life, something backfired. It's like they gas themselves. It's like fish bowling in a car that where the windows don't roll down, you know what I'm saying? Like, they ripped a big-ass illegal fart in a car and now the windows don't want to roll down and they're trapped inside and um, now they have to sit in their own stench. When someone's giving you directions and start using words like east and west. So someone was trying to convince someone what what was right. So there's a contradiction. It's like, you go this way, I go that way. Um, we're over here. We're, we're this, you know, certain kind of way. We're upstanding. We're the right ones. This person is psycho. But someone was using misdirection and projection. Um, they were trying to make a divine femur masculine look like they were unbalanced or unstable. Or like they didn't know which direction they're going. When you're pissing in a pool and have to pretend like you're not pissing in a pool. So, like, these people could have gotten caught with their hand in the cookie jar. Like, something is not making sense. They contradict themselves. There's no proof or evidence of something. There's a collaboration. So there's a group of people here that are collaborating. You may have someone or a group that wants to collaborate or work with you. If someone got caught pissing in the pool. They were acting like they weren't doing something like trying to be nonchalant, trying to make something look like an accident or, you know, an act of nature, an act of God, something like that. And it's just like, you know, you can't keep pretending, like using this direction and acting like something is an accident. If something happened, you know, if something happens so many times, first of all, I don't believe in coincidence. Second of all, it's not a coincidence. These people hold nothing as sacred. Like, nothing is sacred to these people. Is there anything sacred to you? No. No, I'm not getting that anything is sacred to this group of people. Like, there is not any line that these people would not cross. They would hurt men, women, children. They do not care as long as they don't have to go down for the bullshit that they do. And so now, they're working together trying to figure out how to do something while they're making it look like they're not doing something. And the whole goal, the whole point of this is to make you look like you're unstable unbalanced mentally unhinged like they're trying to make you go crazy and they're the ones that are flipping mentally ill something is about to be shown once and for all because something is being illuminated brought to light and there's not going to be a doubt in anyone's mind. These people didn't want to change. They didn't want to go through a transformation. They didn't want to ascend. They didn't want to grow up and be adults. That's fine. But it's not fine. Because now something is out of balance. And now something has to change. Because that's how the natural law works. You know, things always have to be in balance. And when they're out of balance, they have to be put back in balance. 
so these people were literally trying to cause chaos magic. They could have been doing some actual spell work as well to cause this chaos, because I'm getting that chaos magic was returned to sender. Even if you're not the type that would typically dabble in witchcraft or something like that, um, you could have needed to up your spiritual protection, so somebody may have found themselves in a jar that they, you know, maybe weren't expecting. Um, you may have had to protect yourself in many different ways. There's somebody working that wants to work with you, or the, this has to go with that collaboration card. This is work. There's something significant about work wanting to work with you, or there's someone here who's working together. Cohesive group. All is one. I'm seeing like the, the ant movie, you know, how all the ants work together to get something done. That's kind of the energy I'm picking up is like a group collaboration, like a community uh, working together to make something happen. And there's something very illegal about what they're doing. Someone was bisexual, so somebody didn't want something to change. Somebody was bisexual. Um, they... They have masculine and feminine, and I'm not saying that that means they're balanced. Um, yeah, that's the card that comes out is like a bisexual card or someone who um, has both the masculine and feminine, but it's in the reverse, so it's not in a balanced way. So something is stuck for this person. They didn't want to see through the illusion. There was some sort of illusion they didn't want to see through. Or someone is seeing the saw through the illusion surrounding this person and someone got ghosted a masculine energy could have gotten ghosted at work so a masculine energy um you know maybe a group of people don't want to work with a masculine anymore they got left out in the dust it could be a bisexual masculine or it could have been a feminine that's bisexual there's a transformation coming for a female, though, a feminine energy. So there's a feminine energy that is going through a transformation or ascension, or there's a big change coming for this female. I told you there was a group of three stooges involved in this shit. I told you. There's a group of three guys standing around here, and someone's hiding their personality, their intentions. Um, this person is watching or disguised, like within the group there's something that someone didn't see clearly about a group and then this is my um this is my same sex card for the masculines i mean it could be for a feminine as well but there's a group of people here someone is hiding something within a group there's something that is not being seen clearly about this person and it is that they want to be in a same-sex relationship or they are in a same-sex relationship within the group or they want one with somebody. <sighs> someone within the group wants uh, someone of the same sex. And they could feel like you were hiding your sexuality. Like maybe if you're straight or something, maybe they thought that you were hiding your sexuality. Or they're hiding that you may be bisexual as well. But there's definitely someone who wants someone of the same sex in this group is not seeing this clearly someone within the group whether it's the masculine a masculine or feminine i'm not sure but there's there's a man or a woman here that wants someone that has been targeted which would be you who is in the upright uh, but they want to have a same-sex relationship with you someone is very attracted to you but this would be someone of the same sex There's some sort of communication going on about a deal or partnership, so that's a challenge here. There's some sort of deal reworking of a partnership or collaboration. Someone may want to work or collaborate with you because they want to be with you. You could be relaxing, chilling, you're at peace. Maybe someone's attracted to how peaceful you are in the midst of chaos because somebody really did send some chaos magic to you, like for real, for real, um, and you're still at peace. And you have somebody smitten with you and admiring you because of this. On that note, let's jump to these cards. <laughs> let's see what emotions and feelings comes out. 
What is anyone feeling? Ooh, there's a witchy energy here and despair. Someone's pissed off. Someone's shrieking in despair. There was something shocking about somebody affecting someone's peace or making sure that someone couldn't find a peaceful or have a safe place to go. And there's another person here who's shocked. So there was someone who was like cold hearted, ice cold, you know, like Tin Man energy, <clears throat> King and Queen of Swords energy here, um, who wanted to make sure that somebody didn't find their peace. And there was something shocking about this. And someone was a high priestess in the reverse. So there is a practitioner involved in this who didn't get some flowers. There's a couple people here who were not compassionate to somebody and they were keeping something a secret and then there's a third party situation. Jesus Christ. Or there's going to be a reason for celebration or happiness because a group may support someone else now. Like there could have been a group here that switched sides. So it could have been a couple who was not compassionate towards a high priestess, or it could have been a dark practitioner, but there was something shocking that happened. And I feel like obviously if you're a divine femme or masculine, you could be a high priest or high priestess. Um, someone is upset about this collaboration, this working together, this group of people, because now this group may want to work with whoever you are. And one of those people within the group, um, so whatever this group is, so it could be a group of three and then a married couple or a couple, because there's two, two people side by side who are not compassionate to you, and that's a pair. So there's a pairing of some sort or a union and some sort of communication or message that these people received. Maybe that their spell work, you know, their chaos didn't work, their magic didn't work. I heard brace yourself, it's coming back full force. I don't know, you have a positive outcome. Someone has a positive outcome, you have a positive outcome. There's a positive outcome in the near future for someone here. Someone was a coward, they were being sneaky. So someone got a message that someone was up to no good and doing some sneaky, stealthy shit. There's good luck with a partnership. Something wasn't growing, something wasn't manifesting. Someone planted some seeds of doubt about your stability your mental stability um, maybe the fact that they weren't being compassionate or caring to you maybe there was no reason for this but something didn't isn't growing something was not abundant like there could have been a lot of hard work put into this i'm not gonna lie there was there was some hard work put into this situation and someone was being really sneaky about covering this up but apparently they didn't cover their tracks well enough there's an older masculine that's involved in this. Someone is being cold-hearted, like very unemotional, but they're in love with someone. And there's a flying monkey, and now this flying monkey wants to be compassionate. What the fuck? I told you there's someone within this group. This flying monkey wants to offer someone their flowers because they caught feelings for them, and now they see them as their ten of cups. They're... <laughs> There was a celebration. There were, there were two people here. Once again, there's a couple here. So there's a couple. Celebration and the reverse and secrets. There were two people here that were secretly celebrating a victory. But someone, one of these um, groupies, monkeys, these flying monkeys, sees someone as their wish fulfillment and luck is on their side. There could have been a breakup within a union or a separation or a family stability because of this. So there could be some chaos going on within a marriage and a home. And then we have an emperor here and someone didn't want to give a gift. Somebody was trying to stop someone from receiving a gift of family stability or a happy home, a safe place. Yeah. There's a couple here that was dead set on making sure that someone did not feel safe or feel safe within a home, about a home. Or have a home to go to. And so they were trying to withhold this gift. They didn't want someone to get this gift. But there's a masculine here. Who sees someone as their wish fulfillment. Now it can also be. That this masculine was in a same sex relationship. And they may want to switch sides. And go the other route. Like the straight route. 
like maybe they've always been seen themselves as more on on the um gay side but they might end up switching sides for some reason I don't know, you could be a very masculine feminine or that's just the energy you carry there's nothing wrong with that but there's something um something unexpected that happened here somebody switched up sides that they play on that much i do know some there's definitely something where um somebody switched sexes like that that much i am getting someone's a liar about who they want to sleep with or about their sexuality someone's lying so someone's lying to a group of people about who they, they sleep with or who they're sexually attracted to someone's got their hand out some someone has their hand out someone was goo goo gaga there's someone here who's freaking out over someone being attracted to someone else so, there's someone here who's really freaking out about this attraction that this person has towards a divine femur masculine it's like somebody was spoon feeding someone a pile of bullshit because they're attracted to someone else someone was definitely lying someone was definitely in their king or queen of swords energy because someone was lying and spoon feeding some shit to someone but they were actually like very attracted to them attracted to somebody and like oogling them and their tongue is out and like someone is freaking out about this i'm not lazy i'm motivationally challenged and i'm pre protected by attack cat and assume the attitude oh someone may not want to be lazy anymore someone's getting motivated or someone is motivated to protect someone and someone's getting an attitude about it like someone is pissed off because someone is feeling very protective they could have avoid a uh, voice their opinion about wanting to protect you or doing something that would have led to some sort of protection for a divine femur masculine and someone got pissed off about it and something got stopped dead in its tracks because someone was being an anti-hero and showing their ass and they literally got left looking like an ass like someone really did something stupid this anti-hero and like they just really looked like a dumbass and they got stopped dead in their tracks because somebody is protecting someone here and nobody expected this or saw this coming wow. nobody within this group saw that somebody was actually trying to protect somebody or that is going they were going to protect someone someone was just annoying they were doing stuff out of spite they were acting childish and immature places to go people to annoy someone's getting educated or someone is smarter than they look digest any good books lately so someone is smart or someone is getting educated about something that's going on in this situation they really underestimated somebody's intelligence i really strongly get that they really took someone for a fool maybe it's because they're unstable so they're unstable like they i don't know they want people to view you as you view them because you see them for who they are so they did whatever they could to make it look like you are so unstable and crazy but they're just someone was just really childish and it could be someone who's in this partnership or this marriage like there's definitely two people here it's like there's a three uh, you know there's like a group of three and then there, there's another couple and i i see that very clearly i just don't necessarily know how it's all connected just yet there was some barriers because somebody was weak easily tempted they fall for the low-hanging fruit or somebody was being a coward so there's a barrier here because somebody was a coward when it came down to something they couldn't do it because they love you because they want you because you're working hard you're working your ass off the barrier here is you're not a coward they are they're the cowards and they were trying to weaken you and you're busting your ass with the eight of pentacles here and your hard work is paying off something is working for you you're going to receive some sort of communication queen of wands 
something you're manifesting, something that a Queen of Wands is manifesting, or you're going to receive some sort of communication from someone who's manifesting you, Queen of Wands. So something that the Queen of Wands is manifesting, or somebody is manifesting this Queen of Wands. Yeah, there's a permanent ending. Ten of Swords. Someone's going to put an end to being a coward. Someone's going to step it up. So, the, they are being a coward. So, they've been too shy. They've been too bashful. Someone, someone's someone been being held back because they're scared. Or they, you know, they need that courage. That's a barrier. And that's coming to an end. There's a Ten of Swords. Someone, someone's not going to be a coward anymore when it comes to expressing how they feel about manifesting this queen of wands like they're going to communicate to this queen of wands if they want them queen of cups in the reverse maybe someone doesn't want to be jealous of you anymore or emotionally unbalanced someone wants to put an end to an, an emotionally manipulative situation with a feminine it it could be this Queen of Cups who wants to lay everything down to rest and tell this Queen of Wands how they feel about them. I just heard, oh my god, I don't want to be offensive, but I just heard some girl on girl action. I don't, I don't, I don't mean to be offensive, but I heard girl on girl action. Hmm. So there was a third party situation. Someone traveled. There was a group meeting. So there was a traveling. There was traveling, a secret meeting, and um, a third party situation. So there was a secret meeting with it with a group of people here. So this Queen of Cups traveled and worked with somebody to put you in a third party situation. So like I said, there's a group of three people, and then there's a, a couple. So this Queen of Cups could be connected to somebody. Could be like in a marriage or something. Um, but there was some sort of traveling, a secret meeting, and a third-party situation. Now, this could have been a bad business deal done to cause you, you know, some troubles, some issues. This female doesn't want to work with this group anymore. I feel like she's not envious of you anymore. Like, she is. Like, she's... At first, it was like she hated you, but like now she like loves you. Like I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Somehow you made this person like fall for you. I feel like there hasn't even been any like contact like that. This Queen of Cups admires this Queen of Wands, but they're connected to a deal or some sort of partnership they have with this group of people. And there's an injury here to get someone out of their life's calling to stop someone from building a legacy or take their work or steal their work. So there was a Queen of Cups who was very jealous and envious of this Queen of Wands and wanted to take their work from them. Maybe they didn't believe that they were the real thing, that they were a fake, a fraud, a phony. So they were all in support of working with this group of people to cause this Queen of Wands some sort of injury. But this person doesn't want to be a coward anymore. This person really wants to tell... This Queen of Cups really wants to tell this Queen of Wands something about how they feel. I just heard express my undying love. I, I don't know. Hopefully this isn't an obsession. I don't know. It sounds more like it could, it could be bordering on obsession. Yeah, there was work, uh, working within a group of people, and that's eight, up, up to eight people. A group, a community... So there was some sort of partnership that affected someone's work, their life's calling. Someone could have been connected to an employer that you had. Someone's getting this Ace of Pentacles because someone was just evil, man. Someone's getting a new start, a new beginning, possibly a significant chunk of change, but someone was being evil within this group someone was just evil 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 and they really did some chaos magic and i feel like that could be like that high priestess in the reverse energy so there was a there was a dark practitioner mixed in with this group 
And there's some barriers reflection about a Queen of Pentacles. So there's some reflection going on about a Queen of Pentacles and wanting to work with someone and give them a new start or a new beginning. This could be uh, this new beginning that a Queen of Pentacles is getting ready to head into, but something is on pause, something is on hold. And sometimes the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands are the same person. They kind of go hand in hand for me when I, you know, natural born leader, someone who's good with money, um, business savvy, you could own your own business. They could be two separate females, but I mean, they could be the same. This person is very strong and courageous. This feminine is. Yeah, I feel like the Queen of Pentacles could be the same as the Queen of Wands because we have the strength here and then we have the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is admiring your strength, but they're connected to this King of Cups who is a dick and he's an evil practitioner. It could be the masculine. He could be like a warlock. This Queen of Cups wants to communicate to this Queen of Pentacles. Someone was very reckless with some sort of communication. So this King of Cups didn't care who got hurt. They could have did something within the court system. Um, just reckless. Could have misused someone's information. And someone's getting enlightened to the missing piece of the puzzle. Why this masculine did this. So this female could have been envious and jealous of like the Queen of Wands, but now that it's the Queen of Pentacles, and now this Queen of Cups wants to hook up with the Queen of Pentacles and leave this masculine in the dust and put a permanent ending to something. Ten of Swords. What the fuck? What the fuck? This female, this um, this this female was originally very jealous and envious of a divine femme. To the point where she stole your man, got your man, maybe even got this man to marry her. I don't know. They're coming out as a pair, right? Um, but she wants you. She wants the feminine. Like, she has become obsessed with you, Divine Femme. Like, obsession, addiction. And that's the secret. That's the challenge here is that she's secretly obsessed with you. And she fell in love with you. And she doesn't want to be with this asshole King of Cups. He lied about all kinds of shit about you to, you know, like to her. Tried to make her jealous. And the more that she watched you, like she fell in love. What the fuck is this shit? What the fuck is this shit? It is springtime. Love is in the air. There's going to be no doubt that you are a high priestess and a divine femme. Because even your enemies fall in love with you. And you know what? Maybe you're normally straight. I don't know. Maybe. I I don't know if you're bisexual or not. But this Queen of Cups wants to express their interests. Like, they don't want to be a coward anymore. They want to tell you how attracted they are to you. They're, they're going to shoot their shot. I feel like they're going to shoot their shot. That took a turn. I wasn't expecting, I was not expecting all that. I wasn't expecting the person who was jealous of you stole your man to want to leave your man and come back to you. Like, what the fuck? That is some crazy ass shit right there. That's some cool shit. I, uh, I don't, I don't I, I, it is cool. Like, I think it's kind of cool. Like, <clears throat> how someone was out to destroy you and now, um, now you have a buddy. <laughs> Ten of Swords. There's an ending to a financial imbalance. There's a King of Cups here. Oh, that made a slippery offer to the Queen of Cups to cause an imbalance. This masculine could have been using this Queen of Cups to make you jealous, Divine Femme. You know, the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles. You know, I feel like you're one and the same. Um... But this masculine tried to use this female to make you jealous. And she was jealous of you. <clears throat> she was envious of you. And there's a financial imbalance here because of this. And they used, he used this person to get to you and to get under your skin. And it made, it maybe it worked, maybe it didn't. But you walked away because of this. Because you knew that there was a slippery offer. But someone's getting a clean slate here. There is a clean slate. 
he could have used her to make you jealous or she could have used him to make you jealous like because she she was envious of you like green eyed monster envious okay like she wanted something you had like she could have tried to imitate you copy you be like you but at the same time like she was falling for you at the same time like she was so involved and obsessed with you she didn't realize that she was actually like in love with you oh so somebody was trying to get some sort of money so there was an imbalance to somebody receiving some sort of money because of what this queen of cups did you could have worked with this female it could have been a feminine that you worked with okay <sighs> Yeah, this emperor caused an injury. The challenge here is there's a masculine here who caused an injury because he could have hooked up with either a co-worker or somebody that was you worked with or you thought was your friend and this person was actually jealous of you, envious of you, wanted to sneak in, get your man. They may, got, they may have gotten married, you know? Something is being laid to rest because someone wants to travel towards another person because someone was not in their life's calling. Somebody fucked up someone's work. Someone was obsessed with this. So there was rumors, gossip, talk, obsession, stealing your legacy, stealing your life's work. This female, this Queen of Cups wanted to be you so bad that she was talking all kinds of shit about you and she was obsessed with making you look bad at work. This could have been your supervisor, you know, or a co just a co-worker, but somebody that you worked with. And this person was talking a lot of shit about you, and they were getting their information from your man, or your ex-man, you know what I'm saying? And, um, so they were both kind of, like, screwing you over, you know what I'm saying? But now, things have changed, okay? So, there was a financial imbalance, you could have lost your job, you could have gotten fed up and quit. You know, maybe you got fired, whatever, but this person wanted to take your place. You healed from some sort of heartbreak. This person thought they were taking a treasure from you, and someone is in despair because somebody didn't want you to have a house, a safe place to go, or get you kicked out. Like, now that you've healed, or this person has healed, maybe they had some healing to do. There's an emotional situation about the loss of a house, a business, a job, and a treasure. And someone feels really bad about it, about what they did to you, and they want to tell you they're sorry. This female wants to... Oh, man. This female has had to heal from some heartbreaking shit herself while dealing with this masculine. Because, you know, the grass isn't always greener, right? So you could have suffered abuse, trauma. Like, obviously, this dude is not a good dude. She got with your dude, and then she had to heal and she had some sort of realization, some sort of epiphany, like the missing piece of the puzzle, like something clicked. There was a missing piece of information that this female found out. And this is a very emotional situation to find out that someone could be homeless, that you could have gotten homeless, you could have been kicked out, that she helped cost you your job, like you haven't been able to work, or maybe you haven't found a work since this job. Like, someone really feels bad because some evil asshole wanted to get you kicked out of a house. There's an emotional situation surrounding someone's financial stability. Someone can't gain their footing. And it could be a divine feminine who can't gain their footing or their financial stability because people keep fucking them over and over and over and over again. And this female participated in this. And now she feels really bad about it. And I I don't know if you should feel bad for her. I'm just saying, like, I... I feeling like she is legit sorry like she is like i don't know if the dude i feel like the dude's an evil prick like i don't think he's sorry for shit yes he lied there was it was lies based on lies not a sort someone rushed in with some sort of lies so someone took some quick action took some swift action did something with some sort of communication information sending a message because someone lied There's a Queen of Wands, an Emperor, an unofficial person, the Hierophant, and the Reverse. Oh, God. So this Emperor was unofficial, false prophet, teacher, preacher, prophet, advisor, religious person, whatever. They held a position of authority. Um, you know, it could have even been a pastor in a church, okay? 
they were connected to this queen of wands and this person was an evil sick fuck okay you know and they were talking shit they were sending a message they were talking shit about an empress here so and a two of cups this is someone that the queen of wands here was connected to so this is someone that the divine femme was in a relationship with and i feel like this could be a different masculine than the king of cups yeah, there was communication. There was a message that was sent. There was there was shit talk. They sent a message to someone. God damn. You got screwed over bad. Someone here's moving on to calmer waters. Like your financial stability. Like someone is in despair over this shit. Cause they were lied to by your ex. So your ex was part of a group of people. And then you have this married couple. God, this is like giving me a headache. This is crazy shit. Someone's hyped to feel like it's pounding and like it's gonna explode. Like they, it's like someone better calm down because they're they're gonna have like an aneurysm or something. Like someone's head is just pounding. Like it, like the truth is just so painful. It's like someone took a sledgehammer to someone's to their head. It's like they just cannot believe what they did to someone who didn't deserve it. All because someone took the word off of a, a jaded ex, a jilted ex. So you could have had two exes that were connected to screwing you over in this situation. Because you had one that you were in a partnership with. That there was a two of cups situation. Who you were married to, like a husband, lover, you know, father figure. There's, you know, masculine energy that the Queen of Wands was attached to. But then we have that King of Cups who you were attached to, um, that maybe you just dated, maybe you didn't get that serious, but somebody else swooped in, another feminine wanted to steal your man, so, and that would have been, like, that co-worker situation, and then they all could have worked together to get you kicked out of a house, got you fired from your job, my god, you poor thing, but someone, like, there's a female here that feels really bad about, it. like, the Queen of Cups really feels bad, like, it's really messed up, but there, the, there's a Queen of Cups here who does legitimately feel bad about this. Yeah, there was a lot of talk, gossip, shit talking, emotional situation. So because of some gossip and some shit talking, someone, you know, blocked your money. Money hasn't been coming in. Maybe that's the reason some money stopped because people within the community were talking and they all felt, you know, they all viewed you as a bad person. So maybe you got blacklisted or something like that. Someone's emotional about you coming out of the cold and being injured. Like someone, someone's really emotional about you being able to recover from this because they feel really bad. I'm strongly getting it. it's a feminine here. It's a feminine who feels really bad about, you know, what they did to you. And they have some feelings for you too, but I mean, they, they really, they're being tormented by this. Like they're really being tormented by what they did to hurt you. Maybe under normal circumstances, if this person didn't have those childhood wounds, like that jealousy, the need to compete with someone, maybe you all could have been friends in a different, you know, place and time. Maybe some, maybe there, you still could be, I don't know. But this person did you dirty, and I think you know it, and I think that's why they're so scared to come towards you, because you know what they did to you. You're not stupid, and they're being a coward, they're being sheepish, they didn't speak up for you, they didn't defend you, they wanted to take what you had. You know, they stuck some swords in you with the Four of Swords here. Like, they they participated actively with the gossip, with affecting your money, with betraying you, you know, possibly up to four times. I mean, you know, there there's significant times that this person stuck swords in your back, and they know you know. Maybe not to what extent, but they know you know. And now you could be in poverty because of it. Like, you could be suffering financially because of what this person participated in. And, you know, not being able to find a home, a stable environment. Like, this person could be a mother. They could have kids. You could be a mother. Like, you, you both could have kids and shit. And this person had no problem doing what they did to you at the time. Because they lacked empathy. 
and something was opened up within this person something healing was activated like something triggered this person and something was awakened awoken whatever um and they really feel bad about this like they really do really really so there was some sort of communication that this person did um, use. They could have communicated with your coworkers or bosses. There was something to do with communication that was meant to betray you. You know, you're moving on with these heavy ass burdens with these ten of wands. Um, and someone wants to send you a message. Somebody wants to talk. Like the page of wands. Someone wants to talk to you about it. Let's we'll see if anything else comes out real quick before I move on. Like now if someone wants they they want to send you a message. Or they're getting the message about the heavy burdens that they caused for you, and that's what's having them in despair. Like they can't live with it. Like they just they really feel like an ass hat. Yeah, someone will tell you some important information. So, like, someone was using your information against you. Someone was... <sighs> Find someone to love you. I don't. So, someone that you thought loved you didn't really love you. And they were feeding people information about you. It's like... <sighs> they owe you money. There's a relative involved in this and a twin flame in the reverse. So, somebody who was, you know, a bad twin... You had a relative that's, that knows about this, was connected to it. Or someone's relative was. They feel like they don't know you. So you didn't know your twin flame. You really didn't know who this person was. You really didn't know that they didn't love you either. You didn't know that they were screwing around doing this, that, and the other. You did, but I mean, this person has a secret lover. Your relative has a secret lover. Or one of your relatives was one of their secret lovers as well as this person. Maybe this relative... No, that would be sick. No, it can't be your relative who... Man, this dude got around, alright? We're, 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 we're just going to say that. This dude got around. I, I'm going to say that this person slept with your coworker and a relative. Because if this person slept with your relative and it's your relative that's secretly in love with you, that would be fucked up. Um, it's possible. It's possible. You know, maybe it's an in-law situation or a by marriage situation. It happens. Maybe it's a foster, adopted situation. Someone's relative was this person's secret lover as well. As well as a co-worker. I, I just feel like a co-worker was significant as well. <clears throat> this dude got around. You won't be surprised. You already know this player is a player. And this person could have slept with their relative. Maybe that's why they had to heal. God damn, so... <clears throat> oh, shit! The, the plot thickens. Alright, so now I'm seeing it. So, <laughs> she wanted your place. You worked with her. She was jealous of you. Then he turned around and slept with her relative, who is a secret lover, because those are in the upright, so that's going on, like, now. And, then, and she had to heal from this. So she's going to find out that he's screwing around with one of her relatives. She's almighty. And someone could have caught something. Smiles are contagious. Be a carrier. So, you know, they could have caught something. Someone could have caught something or something significant about mail. Intercepting some sort of mail. Blocking some sort of communication. Uh, there's some good cops, good law officials that are just frazzled over this whole thing. Like, they just don't know what to do. Uh, possibly because there's bad cops and bad law officials involved in this as well. Um, and that's on the flip side of that card, so um, only one of those can come out on that deck. But yeah, there's some good cops that are frazzled because they don't know what to do. Um, you know, like... 
people within their own force did some embarrassing shit and they're ashamed of them. So it could have been a fellow law officer. It could have been someone who abused their power, who had a position of authority. Remember that Hierophant and the reverse energy. And they didn't listen to their instincts. And someone is obsessed and they refuse to let something go. So there's some good cops, good law officials that are obsessed with getting to the truth and sorting this out. But it's like their head wants to explode too trying to sort through all this shit. It's like, where did we begin? How does this person even know what the hell's going on when we're still trying to figure this shit out? How did this Divine Femme know all this? Like, that's, I'm hearing questions, like someone's being questioned, and someone lost their spiritual gifts. Because they were so obsessed with you. Someone you blocked, I blocked you or you blocked me. So this is, I, I feel like it's the masculine, the dark masculine, the warlock energy. They didn't think something was a big deal. There would be no consequences. Um, stop making me angry. Like, this person really doesn't think it's a big deal. But you piss them off because you decided to focus on yourself. And they're under the influence of drugs or alcohol. And they hacked your accounts. And they can't stand you. Like, I just heard they can't stand you, but they can. Like, they're still watching you. Someone has similar religious beliefs than you. Or as another person. Maybe you and the chick they chose over you, you know, the chick that wants to communicate with you. Maybe you have similar religious beliefs to them than, you know, like they have. And maybe that's why this masculine chose them over you. They thought they were getting the better deal out of the two. Something significant in the last 24 to 48 hours or in the next 24 to 48 hours. That one's blank regarding an Aries. You could be receiving some sort of communication within that time frame or something significant is going to be happening. Um, Aquarius could be significant and Libra, something being balanced out. Someone really wants to call it quits. A penny saved is a penny earned. You could be watching your money at this time because you're in fucking poverty, man, after all the shit they did to you. Summertime. U, V, W, X, Y, and Z, and a Capricorn, Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, another Scorpio, Earth Sign, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. That's a lot. M, N, O, or, or P, Jesus. M, N, O, or P, A, B, C, and D. Okay, so this story... I don't know how the hell this applies to so many people, but this story applies to quite a few of you. So, wow. There's a lot of people that's experiencing this on their timeline. Or they did. Or they're going to. But I feel like a lot of you are going through this now, currently. Or it's still fresh, it's still raw, depending on where you are in this story, like how far you are into it. This timeline is, uh, I feel for you. Somebody wants to be a team player now. Like, they didn't say eye to eye with you in the past, but you know what, there's no time like the present. They were your ops before, okay? But someone's still playing the field. Okay, and someone sees you as possibly their happily ever after, or you're going to get your happily ever after. Um, but yeah, someone here is playing the field. You know, what they did to you, they did to them. And, you know, um, someone flew the coop. Your op flew the coop. They could have left this person because they were playing the field. They were sleeping with their relative. The spring could be significant. You know, they had to learn the lesson the hard way. They had to learn the lesson the hard way. Whoever is playing the field in the springtime, someone could be going to jail. A tourist could be going to jail. Something significant about March and a Sunday, to be more specific. So there's something specific regarding jail, tourists, um, March and Sunday. something significant about against all odds in December maybe you both escaped something against the odds and now someone's scared about something that happened in the winter time because they did not have the wisdom of the ages 
Like, you literally are too good to be true. Tuesday could be significant. Someone could be wanting to tell you that you're too good to be true on a Tuesday at noon. You know, because what goes around comes around. And there's something significant about April. So someone's birthday could be in April. Something significant could have happened. Springtime is very significant here. Winter, spring, summer, like something significant happened um, in April with a Scorpio. This person went all in. No guts, no glory. This is going to come back and bite him in the ass. It's because someone has one foot in the grave. This is somebody you lived under the same roof as, or someone lived under the same roof as uh, the Scorpio. Someone's pulling the wool over someone's eyes. Someone that has a foot in the grave. So someone could have contracted an STD and it, it could have them with one foot in the grave. And they pulled the wool over someone's eyes. And, you know, honestly, another reason this other female could be in torment and in despair is because the grass wasn't greener. Because they ended up catching something from this person. And I feel like they found out from their relative. Because I feel like this masculine sure as fuck didn't tell them what happened. I feel like this masculine slept with one of their relatives and they caught an STD or something. And this relative actually told this other girl, you know, this queen of cups, what was going on. And so she ended up flying the coop and leaving and shit because she was tired of this man's play in the field. And so she may want to come talk to you and let you know about it in case you have this STD. I don't know if you do or not. Just be careful. Wrap it up. Stay protected. Um... I feel like you don't, though, because I feel like whatever situation this person got themselves into, it happened after you already left them for the shit that they did to you or after they left you for this person. Um, they're a man whore. I mean, they, they definitely sleep around. They have no shame about it. They abuse their power. F could be significant person, place, or thing. Why? Someone could have been a member of, like, the fire department. Um. For your mom? I just heard for your mom. Oh, my Jesus. Someone could have slept with someone's mom. And I have H-I, hi. Someone could have slept with a mother figure. Well, that could have been the relative. T. Someone could want to hit their, a mother figure. P. E. Someone could be hitting the gym. E. Ew. Someone likes to be abused. Ooh, that's fucking nasty. Someone's mother figure likes to get hit and like peed on and shit. Like, I know there's some kinks and stuff, but somebody likes to get hit and peed on. Oh, see, some some shit is just too much. Come on now. Z, there's something about cutting, like cut, somebody was hit, peed on and cut, what the fuck is this shit, B, I don't need to know all that, C, I'll do a couple more, we had a lot that came out, R, Crossroads, someone could be at a crossroads, what to do, someone could live near a crossroads or by a railroad track. CCR could be significant, Credence Clearwater Revival. Oh. Crows could be significant as well. You have ancestors watching over you, but it's also an indication someone could be passing away. So once someone has one foot in the grave, someone's passing away, someone has ancestral protection. Someone has a relative that is just into the craziest, nastiest shit you can think of, and I, ugh. Because, I'm, yeah. F-Y-M-H-I-T-P-E-E. 
C Z B C R O. I hope this helps. Someone has to eat crow. Someone's gonna be eating crow, not literally. Don't be Wendy Williams. No offense, no shade to her. I'm just saying, y'all saw what happened. Alright, have a good day. I hope this helps.